top here. morning we're doing a sound check again to make sure that we are connected well uh, with the radio feed uh, there at WQCH uh, 93.7 FM 1590 AM uh, so uh, Doug's kind of giving us going to give us the word on that and for all of our radio audience this morning so uh, uh, bear with us we'll be on as far as the program in just a little bit And we're having just a little bit of problem there, so uh, uh, we'll just stay here for a second and make sure we get it going that way. All right. Yeah. Sounds like we got it. All right. Thank you. We'll be back in just a moment.
Good morning. Uh, we're back on, and uh, sorry about that a while ago. We had to do a check and uh, make sure that we was uh, tapped into our radio feed for all of our radio audience that is listening in this morning, and we sure do appreciate uh, the fact that we're going two different directions as far as the Facebook and as far as the radio is uh, concerned for all the people who can't get us on the Facebook. We appreciate this opportunity. Isn't it amazing <laughs> how, what God has done and how God has helped us to get the gospel out even in times like this when uh, we have to uh, uh, suffer from the uh, things that we're facing but yet uh, God has made a way. He always does. He always makes a way. We want to remember the sick. We want to remember the afflicted. We want to pray for those that's lost their loved ones. There's many, many today that has left this world. And we'd like to remember those that are left and uh, with a sad and, and broken heart. Well, pray for you. and uh, Let's pray for the lost wherever they are. That they might be saved this morning. I have a lot of loved ones. I love to know that they're prepared to meet the Lord. Um, I won't know if they don't tell me. And so uh, I want you to pray that the Lord would speak to their hearts. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, things is coming up. Mother's Day is coming up. And this will be my, my first year without my mother. And uh, um, I want you to be much in prayer and pray that the Lord would touch and help uh, in this. And then uh, we... My wife will be without her mother. I want you to pray for her. And uh, there's a lot that happens, and uh, we just want to pray God's will be done. Let's pray this morning, and then we'll get into our program and pray that it'll be a blessing to all of you. You're our honored guest today. It don't matter who you are. It don't matter where you are. You're an honored guest in our hearts on this broadcast, and we thank you for, uh, for being a part of it. And you pray for us wherever you are today. Let's pray that the Lord would move and touch somebody's life. Would you do that? Let us pray. Father, I do thank you that you gave us this day. We're honored, Lord, to be here. Father, it's not within our capabilities, but God is through you that you have allowed this to happen. And Father, we do pray that we might exalt you above all other names and lift you up that a world can see that we still believe. We still put our trust in the one who has all power. And Lord, we're not a defeated people, but we're a victorious people. And because you live, we know we will live also today. And Father, there's still power in the precious blood that was shed to save our wretched souls. And Father, I pray somewhere this morning, someone would cling, dear God, to you and call upon your name and give their heart and their life to you today. Father, we pray for the needs of our nation. We let our, our president continue to direct in the way that pleases you. And Father, I pray for all the, the, the doctors and the nurses and the home health and rest home uh, people that are caring for the folks there and the people in the rest homes. I pray for all the sick, all the afflicted, wherever they are. And God bless in Jesus' name. Amen. We want to send our program out today to all of our radio audience and uh, our church, each member of our church that is either watching or, or listening on the radio. See, the one thing about this uh, is that we have church people that are now able to uh, pick this program up uh, that couldn't hear prior uh, uh, to this, but uh, through the means of their computer, they are able to pick us up. And we appreciate that. We want to send our program to Clyde and Ernie and Sister Bobby and Mary Ann and Sister Alice and Thomas and Joe and Charles and Linda, uh, faithful listeners and help us with our broadcast. Brother Dewey, hope that you're doing well. Uh, I, I think I forgot last week my two uh, friends uh, uh, and their families, but we remember them this week, Johnny and Jeanette, we hope you're doing well. Johnny and Dee, we hope you're doing well, and uh, may the Lord bless you. I know Leon and uh, Liz is listening, and we appreciate them today, and may the Lord bless and touch, and uh, uh, Kathy and Gary, and, uh, I feel confident that uh, uh, these folks are watching and listening, or may not be watching, but they are listening, and may God bless you as our prayer. 
We want to start out with a song that uh, this song brother uh, David Simpson does uh, quite a bit. Um, and we love it and we're going to sing it and dedicate it to him and Joyce this morning. And uh, may the Lord bless you as our prayer. I can eat. No more dying. No dying. 
that old song on heaven's bright shore. Okay, uh, you pray for Joseph as he comes around. And again, we thank you and may God bless you. I want to send this out to uh, Randy, Cindy, and Wanda. I, I know Cindy's listening and watching. She's already said on there. And, uh, to whoever else is to listen to Paul Paul, if he happens to be, to Keith, Rosie Chapman, Miss Cook, uh, and uh, David, Michelle, any of y'all that's listening, we send it out to y'all. Uh, this old song right here, I ain't, I ain't never tried it on man, but I'm going to. Uh, it's called God Will Make His Trial a Blessing. Yes, sir. I've just come into a valley One like I've never been before I keep searching through a way path It seems that that lights are on the door Oh, there must be another sunrise Another sunset that I'll see God will make this trial a blessing That's the love he has for me
Amen. That's a little bit above my coffee this morning. But uh, I'm glad that I've got heaven on my mind. I'm glad that uh, in doing so, I'm feeling mighty fine this morning. May the Lord bless and touch and help. All right, we'll try this song. It means a, a lot to me. It's, uh, it's called A Wall of Prayer. And uh, that's exactly what I need every day of my life is a wall of prayer. Uh, amen. Prayer still works. It changes people to where people can change things. And uh, amen. A lot of times we pray for God to do it all. Uh, but friend of mine, God wants us to step up. And amen. prayer can change you. And that will put you in a place to where you can change things in your life. Amen. I, this, I hope this will be a blessing to you out there today. And Nancy, if you're listening, we we send it to you and Lloyd this morning. And uh, the song that uh, Joseph did there, God will make this trial a blessing. That's a song my sister Paulette used to do. And uh, I miss Paulette. Uh, she died in 2005. Uh, but uh, it's just as real to my heart today as it was then. And so you pray the Lord will touch and help, and we do that in honor of her today. There are walls made by man, built by frail and human man, that an enemy can scare and get to you. But there's one protected me from my greatest enemy. It's a wall that Satan can break through. Sometimes a wall of grace, sometimes a wall of faith, other times. It's with mercy that I need. But the one for which I long, it makes all the others strong. I get a wall of prayer surrounding me.
to do that because it sure is needed in our lives today, isn't it? I just thank the Lord for uh, this time, for strength to be able to come uh, today and do a little something for the Lord. Hear G. Amen. I, I thank Charles and Linda like this song, and uh, we'll uh, pray the Lord to bless and touch. I thank Brother William Harris likes this song, and uh, uh, we send it to him and Shirley and the family today. To be well known of me, I may not be I'm sure my name will not go down in history. There'll be no marble black to tell of my defeat or any great glory. I 
Situated. Uh, Matthew 7, we'll start in verse 24. Amen. I hope the blessing will, will come into your life and your home through this message today. Think about God's Word. Amen. Well, if there was a time people need to ponder on the Word of God, it's today. Amen. Um, the Word of God teaches us that we, uh, uh, God's everywhere. He's, he's omnipresent and uh, you know you can feel God anywhere that you'll submit yourself to God. Prayer today an altar is where you make contact with the Lord praying in faith today. Uh, people have different places you know I have a rock altar up on the top of our, my place and uh, to me that's very a very special place to go but uh, you know I find God there on my knees at, uh, in, uh, in the study or by the bed or uh, wherever I am, I can find God because God's always with me. And uh, when I, my heart is awoken to the fact of the reality of that, uh, I have no problem believing and trusting and seeking the Lord in all things. Listen to what Jesus is saying in Matthew 7, uh, verse 24 through 27. It says, Therefore whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him to a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. Let us pray. Father, thank you, God, again, that you let us come today. It's an honor to stand before this great 
host of people, uh, people that we do not know uh, God in many ways. We have never seen some of them, but oh God, I'm glad that you have let us stand and give us this time to share together out of the precious word. Father, we pray that our hearts would be stirred, that our minds would be challenged, and God, that we might follow the leadership of thy spirit and be submissive in all things. Father, our prayer is that the lost will be saved, that those that have are living under with broken promises, broken vows in their life, that they would renew themselves through a prayer of repentance. And God, be back standing upon the, uh, the solid rock and walking in the path of the straight and the narrow. Father, we pray today that our light would shine brighter than it's ever shone before. And God, that you'd use us in a way like you never have to reach out to this world, God, and bring uh, the precious word to those that are needed, that are perishing toward the devil's hell, that they might realize that there's hope and that hope is in you, dear Lord. Thank you again, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. A proven life, and uh, you, we may go off the radio, but we'll finish to the point that God wants us to this morning. Let, let's uh, bring ourselves up to speed right quickly and tell you that uh, the scriptures that I have read unto you is, is the ending of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount that began in chapter 5. Uh, this sermon, a uh, friend of mine, started in chapter 5 and went through chapter number 7. And the Sermon on the Mount, friend of mine, uh, the Lord was not presenting through this message or this sermon uh, the terms of salvation, but he is uh, bringing to the hearts of the people uh, righteous living. He's talking about living right. And Jesus used the comparison of two ways. And if you study uh, the Word of God, you'll find that this is used a whole lot. The comparison of two ways. And he used it to present the very heart of his message. Uh, this was common teaching, a uh, friend of mine, and uh, those days it was common teaching method in Judaism and uh, Creole-Roman uh, philosophy. And, and it was a teaching that was familiar uh, to the people. It was easy for them to understand uh, and make comparisons and the applications of biblical truths. And uh, I want to say that it's still very useful uh, to us today. It's very, uh, the most simplistic way of understanding uh, something is compare the good with the bad. Compare the high with the low or, or whatever. And that brings you to a clear understanding uh, of, of the message or the intent and purpose uh, of what is going on. So, Okay, uh, I want you to notice that Jesus said, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them. Do you hear that today? There must be an effort on our part. Amen. I said earlier this, and before uh, uh, when we got into this part that a friend of mine, uh, people pray that God would do it all. People pray for God to do this and God to do that. And uh, sometimes I think uh, the only reason uh, people pray is because they're just spiritually lazy and they don't want to put legs on their prayers and put forth any effort to do what God wants us to do. But if you study the Word of God, and I hope that you do. You'll come to that realization that uh, God didn't tell us to be just hearers only, but to be doers also of the Word of God. There must be an effort on our part. Friend of mine, the hearing of the Word brings uh, to us uh, the instructions that are necessary uh, to live a life that's holy and right. I don't believe that you're living right just by hearing the Word of God. I believe you're living right by hearing and doing what the Word of God has uh, put into our heart to do here today. Uh, the Bible says, He that walketh in darkness uh, uh, knoweth not where he goeth. That's why that we are given the Word of God. It's a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path that I will not walk in darkness, that I might have uh, the instructive Word of God to, to point my feet in the right direction, to keep my affections 
set on the things above, to keep my eyes focused uh, on the path that God uh, has laid out for me today. You see, the Word of God inspires our heart uh, to be willfully, uh, uh, to willfully act upon the commandments of God. Uh, I'm inspired to do God's Word. I'm inspired uh, uh, to follow the uh, commandments of God, which is more than 10. There's over uh, 450 commandments of, uh, in the Word of God. And a uh, friend of mine, and, and my, my heart is inspired through the hearing of, of what Jesus said, through the teaching that come uh, from uh, the Bible to be a follower and a doer of uh, these things that God wants me to do, to believe His Word, to accept uh, its truth, and, and to purposely apply it uh, to our daily living. Amen. Purposely apply it. Amen. Not because I have to, but because I want to today. Amen. It has to be a uh, want to on our part. Amen. God will not drive His Word into our heart. We must receive His Word uh, within our heart and therefore become a doer of what God has in, uh, put it for us to do. Friend of mine, I thought about uh, uh, many times people talk about uh, basking in the fruit of their labor, but uh, before you can bask in the fruit, you got to deal with that labor thing. Amen. Isn't that amazing today? Uh, people today are uh, 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 have said, well, they just don't have time to plant a garden and uh, they don't have time for this and uh, uh, people have given up on everything. Amen. There's, there's people that want a, a, a benefit from the labor of other people, but uh, yet they want to put forth none themselves. Let me tell you something out there today that uh, whether it be physical or spiritual, uh, uh, there'll be no benefit, no basking in the fruit of your labor till you get up and do something for the Lord. When you become a doer and not just a hearer uh, of the Word of God. The hearing of the Word is necessary. We know that. But it is not enough uh, a friend of mine in order for us to have a spiritual security. You do not have spiritual security by just being a hearer of the Word of God. You must be a doer of the Word of God. Jesus said if we hear His saying, uh, uh, then we would be likened to a man uh, that build his house upon a rock. Do you understand that? There is no structure uh, uh, any stronger than the foundation on which it's built today. Amen. There is no structure uh, a friend of mine stronger than that. It don't matter how elaborate uh, the building may be. Uh, its lifeline is measured uh, by the foundation. Amen. Measured by the foundation. This man that uh, uh, God's get using as an example here uh, was careful not to get hasty in his building. Isn't that something? Uh, uh, he persevered uh, until he found the rock necessary uh, uh, to sustain his house. Listen, uh, just any old way ain't going to do. Uh, uh, just any old belief ain't going to do. Just any old doctrine ain't going to do. Just any old church ain't, ain't going to do it, man. Just because it's got a sign in front of it, don't, don't make it the house of God. Uh, uh, just because there's a Bible under his arm don't make him call to God. I, I listen to me today, friend of mine. I, I, we must be a hearer first and a doer I, of the word of God. This man I persevered to he found the rock. I found something necessary to sustain it out. I, if a house is going to withstand the strong wind I, and the rain, I, I friend of mine, then uh, it must be built upon a solid I, a foundation. The storms is going to come. Uh, uh, the structure is going to be tested. Uh, and that's when a sure foundation reveals itself. Uh, you and I are no different this morning. Uh, uh, life presents problems. Uh, uh, problems present uh, uh, trials and testing. Uh, uh, the devil wants to see what we're made out of. Uh, uh, you see, you said you as a Christian. Uh, uh, the devil wants to see if you live up uh, out of that proclamation or that profession. Uh, uh, the devil wants to see just how sure uh, how your foundation is out there this morning. Now uh, uh, listen, friend of mine, uh, uh, and it did an example of this wise man, the foundation uh, revealed itself. 
Uh, you know, Jesus said in the rain descended and floods came uh, and the winds blew and it beat upon that hail uh, uh, and it fell not. Uh, and the reason that it fell not, uh, he said it was founded uh, uh, upon a rock. Amen. Uh, as we apply that to life, uh, up in the mind of life, the one that hears the word of God uh, and is a doer of the word of God, uh, how we can find the comfort and the assurance of uh, how that you and I need today uh, how to face these battles that come against us. Uh, and without being founded upon the wrong, uh, how we have no assurance, we have no comfort, uh, how we have uh, uh, no joy and no victory uh, uh, in our life today. These battles uh, uh, sometimes are extreme. How uh, uh, they want to wear us down. They want to make us doubt uh, uh, what the Lord has said. Uh, uh, the howling of the wind sometimes uh, is a frightening thing. Uh, uh, the howling of the wind. Uh, and the devil, the Bible said, uh, uh, roars like a lion. Uh, uh, Satan wants us to feel helpless. Uh, uh, but when we put our faith in the Lord, uh, when we put our trust in His Word, uh, uh, we become partakers uh, of all of His promises. Uh, uh, do you understand that? Uh, right. uh, tell that to your heart out hey, there right. today. Uh, uh, you're a partaker uh, of the promises of Almighty God. Uh, uh, why? Because you believe. Uh, uh, you have put your faith and your trust uh, in what the Lord has said. Uh, and you become a doer of the Word. Uh, uh, therefore, you have a foundation uh, uh, that is strong uh, and that is sure today. Uh, right. uh, no matter how severe our storm uh, uh, might be this morning, uh, uh, we are never alone. Uh, uh, Jesus watches over us uh, as a shepherd uh, uh, watches over his fold. Uh, right. uh, when our enemies set themselves against us, uh, 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 he comes between us and them uh, and encourages us uh, how to press on uh, how to dare everything going to be alright. Uh, uh, let me tell you, friend of mine, uh, uh, there's something about having uh, a sure foundation. Hey, uh, I do not have to worry uh, uh, when the storms come uh, about whether or not your house uh, uh, is going to stand. Uh, there's something about having uh, uh, that foundation in Jesus Christ. Uh, I do not have to worry uh, uh, when life down here is over. Uh, hey, about having uh, an eternal home in glory. Uh, I do not have to worry, bless God, uh, about the things the world uh, uh, we're combated with through the world. Uh, uh, but to know that we are conquered, uh, more than conquered, uh, uh, in Christ Jesus, same man today. Uh, 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 my radio program is gone. Uh, uh, but let me say this today. Uh, uh, friend of mine, uh, uh, that don't mean that we won't feel the storm wind. Uh, it don't mean we won't feel the rain. Uh, it don't mean that the flood water uh, uh, won't rise up and challenge us. Uh, uh, but they will not conquer us. Uh, uh, they will not consume us. Uh, uh, amen because uh, uh, we are pal a uh, uh, sure foundation. Uh, uh, we are living a uh, uh, proven life. Amen. I'll uh, uh, listen, friend. Uh, I'm going to hurry on. I uh, uh, will be back at 11. Uh, uh, but listen to the uh, foolish man. Uh, uh, that's those uh, uh, that hear but do not do. Uh, that's those that sit on the church pew. Uh, uh, may hear the word of God. Uh, uh, but continue to live their life. Uh, uh, contrary to doing. Uh, that's you out there today. Uh, uh, that have purposely uh, uh, chosen uh, uh, to hear but not hey, do. Uh, uh, you're like and God said. Uh, uh, to a foolish man uh, uh, that built his house upon the sand uh, and right. no foundation uh, and no uh, I perseverance uh, uh, hasty uh, in the things that you've done uh, hastily uh, up in the mind uh, uh, living your life uh, uh, without uh, uh, the assurance of God uh, uh, in your life right. uh, uh, there was no difference in the storm uh, uh, it wasn't a difference type of storm or trial uh, uh, that brought this house to utter ruin. Uh, I know the same 
rainstorm, how the rain descended, how the flood came, and the wind did blow, and the house it fell, because it was not founded upon a rock. It had no foundation to withstand these storms, and neither do you, if you know not Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you're not practicing what God is telling you, you will not stand when the storm comes. You will not stand the pressures of life as the devil begins to stir things up. You'll not be able to stand. Oh, let me tell you something. It's just too late when the wind begins to blow. It's just too late when the wind the rain begins to fall. I had to go out and build a foundation. I know this son, how the foolish man had waited too late. I bet are you going to be foolish in the life you're living? I build on the rock and not on the sand. I put your faith in something that's been proved and tried and sure this morning that's faith in the Lord. My time is about gone. I pray this morning that you'll live a proven life. That you'll yield your heart holy and divinely unto the Lord. That you'll not just be a forgetful hearer but a doer of the word of God. May God bless you. I turn us on in a little while. To God be the glory and the praise. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, amen.